Hey everyone, welcome to my crochet channel. My name's Adele and I am the crochet designer behind Adele Ayan Crochet. I like to share lots of free patterns and crochet tips over on my website, which you can find at adeleoyancrochet.com. This video is for the second post in my Learn to Crochet series, um, which is where I will be showing people who don't know how to crochet or people who learned a long time ago. I'll be te uh, teaching them how to learn all the basics of how to crochet. So, so far last week, and um, we went through what you would need to get started in crochet. So crochet hook, yarn, pair of scissors, tape measure, and a yarn needle. And I sent everyone away to go and collect all those things. And this week we're gonna be getting started we're going to learn how to do a slip knot and we're going to learn how to start with a chain. So come over and join me if you like. I'd be very happy to have you. Okay, so I have all of my supplies gathered. I've got my tape measure, my yarn. I'm using a double knit 100% cotton yarn. I've got my yarn needle my crochet hook, I'm using a four millimeter, and my pair of scissors. And I'll just move everything out of the way so I can show you. To make a slip knot, you will need to take the tail end of the yarn in your left hand and the working end of the yarn in your right hand. You need to pass the yarn from front to back over your index finger and then pass it up to the top again to form this X shape. And then take the working end of the yarn and you need to put it underneath and through that loop on your finger. And then pull the working end and the tail end tight and you have a slip knot. Okay, so I'll just do that one more time. Tail end in the left hand, working end in the right hand, and you need to pass the yarn from front to back over your index finger and then up again over the front. Okay, so you've got this X shape. And then you need to pass the working end underneath and through that loop on your finger, pull both of the ends tight and then you have a slip knot. So to loosen the slip knot you'd pull this piece here at the top and to tighten you'd pull the working yarn and that's the tail end there. Okay so that's how you make a slip knot. Now to make your first chain, put the slip knot onto your hook. You want the tail end you want the tail end to be at the back and you want the working end to be at the front. And I like to hold my yarn around my fingers so I get a nice tension. So I wrap it around my little finger and then I wrap it around my index finger and I hold my work underneath the slip knot there just so I get a really nice tension in this yarn here, which is the bit I'm gonna be working from. So to make a chain, you need to pass your hook in front of the yarn, catch the yarn, and then pull it through the loop on the hook. Okay, so pass the hook in front of the yarn, catch the yarn, and pull it through the loop on the hook. Pass the hook in front of the yarn, catch the yarn and bring it bring it through the loop on the hook okay so I'm just going to do that a few more times so you'll notice that as I'm working I'm moving my finger up the chain that helps to keep this tension nice and tight again. If you're trying to 
hold it down here and working from up here you'll find that it's it's quite difficult so I always find it easier to hold here right underneath my hook and then it just keeps everything nice and um, and just keeps the tension nice and tight okay so I have done nine I've got nine hooks uh, sorry nine chains on my hook so I'm just going to do the last one so remember pass the hook in front of the yarn catch the yarn and pull it through and now I've got 10 chains on my hook so if I can just show you if it'll focus so each one of those V shapes is a chain so I've got 10 chains on my hook and that is how you do a slip knot and that is how you do a chain I hope you found this video helpful and if you're just learning how to crochet give me a wave in the comments and tell me where you're from and what you'd like to learn how to crochet first and you can find me in my learn to crochet series which as I said is over on my website adelloyancrochet.com you can find me across social media. My name is Adele Young Crochet on all of the social media platforms. And I also have a Facebook group, which is dedicated to my patterns and everything made using them. So if you'd like to come over and join, share all of the pretty things that you're making using my patterns, I'd love to have you over there. Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, happy crocheting. Hey everyone, you can hear that drill, obviously because I've started to record a video, so there's obviously a drill outside.